One way to think about working with compound queries is to imagine them as sets, working with sets of data. So here we've got what might be familiar to some of you, if you can think back to, again, to uh, geometry or maybe a discrete math class, looking at a Venn diagram, right, uh, overlapping uh, sets of information or data. So let's imagine, in this case, that the big circle T represents all students in, in a university, right? Um, so that's everybody within who we're considering at this moment. They all are at a university. The A circle represents all students who are from New York, right, from the state of New York. So what that means is that all the students uh, from New York are in the university, but not all students at the university are from New York, right, because this circle is smaller. Um, the B right here represents geography majors, and we can see that um, all geography majors are students at the university, but not all students are uh, geography majors. And we can see there's a little bit of overlap between A and B, and that overlap represents an area where you have students from New York who are also geography majors, right? There's an intersection there. Lastly, C represents English majors. And again, they're all within the university, but not all students are English majors. We see a little overlap with C and A, meaning that some of the New York students are English majors, but notice that we don't see any overlap between B and C. There are no geography and English majors, right? Can, are not both. Okay, so the Venn diagram allows us to see these relationships. So this is a way of thinking about using compound queries. So imagine constructing a query that was something like um, home state equals New York or home state equals New Jersey, right? Well, there's no New Jersey in here, but because it's an or statement, all the records that correspond to New York, all the students from New York, everything within A would be selected, right? Because or, uh, for an or statement to be true, one or both could be true, right? They don't both have to be true, right? Contrast that with the second SQL statement, home state equals New York, and the major equals geography, right? Now, because we're using the AND Boolean operator, that means that both sides of the statement have to be true simultaneously. So what we're looking for is an intersection of these two things. And again, if we look at this diagram, we can see, well, the intersection is where these two things overlap, where they're both true simultaneously. So it would be just in this space here, and all the records that met both criteria would be selected. Right? Again, this is just a way of visualizing or thinking about it. So, Again, highlighting the, the point about the AND versus OR, they provide you with very different um, returns uh, on the selections, right? So whenever a compound query is being uh, submitted, each part of the query or the query statement, all the separate query statements within it, are tested separately, okay? When AND is used, both of them have to be true simultaneously. If OR is the Boolean operator, then either one can be true, both of them or either one. Even if one side is false but the other is true, it'll get selected, right? Okay. So just to kind of reinforce the point, the AND Boolean operator corresponds to this area of overlap, this intersection where both, they are both A and B at the same time, okay? A or B means anything in here, right? whether it's in the intersection, they're both true simultaneously, or it's just one side or the other side. All of this is going to be evaluated, evaluated as true. Okay. So again, the AND statement finds that intersection we've just pointed out. The OR statement can be one or both at the same time or separately. Okay, let's look at some other examples. So the Boolean, st uh, the statements are over here on the right-hand side. So major equals geography and major equals English, right? Which effectively is B and C, right? Because the majors that are geography are represented by the B. The majors that are English are represented by the C. So this SQL statement, right, is equivalent to saying B and C, right? 
is B and C true? Is there a situation where B and C is true? Where B and C are true simultaneously? And you should say no, right? Because B and C do not overlap. There's no situation in which you have both geography and English majors simultaneously. Okay. Now, select students from T where major equals geography or major equals English. Right? Now we're asking B or C, right? B or C. Right? Well, both would be selected, right? Because again, or says either side can be true and that's selected, right? So we have B, we have C, they don't overlap with it, it's not important in this situation, right? A and C, I don't have to pay attention at this point to what it stands for, A and C refers to the intersection, the overlap between these two things. A or C means all of both, so all of A, all of C would be selected, right? That satisfies that statement. Boolean operators include AND and OR, which we've just been going over painfully. <laughs> uh, and there are other types of Boolean operators that have very specific meanings. Um, for example, A exclusive OR. A exclusive OR means anything that belongs to A or B but not both. So what it does is it excludes the intersection, it excludes the overlap. A not B, another type of Boolean connector, means anything that's part of A that's not part of B, right? So it excludes anything that's part of B including the overlap, right? So it's looking exclusively for A and not B, right? So those are the different types of Boolean operators that you can use.